Welcome everyone and good morning. Today's the day. The sheep move into the barn. It's not nearly as warm as it was yesterday when we were getting the barn ready. Um, it's about 42. It was 70, I don't know, 72, 73 yesterday for the high. It's gonna start cooling back down to normal wintertime temperatures. So everything's ready in here. As you saw yesterday, Christy's closing that gate. We're gonna go through here and we'll open and close a few gates to get them where we want. So we'll show you how that's gonna work. And then we're even gonna get some drone footage of them being brought into the barn. And we'll have some cameras set up in the barn to kind of give you some good angles and just see the whole, whole process. Hopefully it goes like we anticipate and we don't mess up, but we'll see you out there. Real quick, before we head out there, we're gonna actually throw some grain in here. We wanna bring them in here and get some grain in their bellies um, to kind of minimize the amount of hay that they're gonna intake on the first day. And we'll keep doing the same thing. So they'll get three buckets, which is roughly about 90 pounds of grain on uh, on a daily basis. So in the evenings is generally when we feed them. They'll get that daily. They'll have unlimited access to hay inside the barn and just keep coming out. Now, after probably Tuesday, which will be three days, then we'll bump it up to the, what they're actually supposed to get, which will be um, four, almost five buckets of grain we'll probably end up just doing five buckets to make sure everybody gets the pound that we want them to get this grain mix has prebiotics uh, crack corn soybean holes it's got all kinds of different stuff for them um, we actually have this custom mixed at the local mfa i'm gonna help her so it doesn't look like i'm doing nothing
need to go over here and shut that water off for them. And I guess we can just take that trough in. Chris is gonna go ahead and grab honey because our other horse is actually coming back home today. Or sorry, tomorrow. So we want them up in the barnyard. They're gonna stay in the barnyard all winter. So we have easy access for food and water for them. And just to keep an eye on them. I'm pretty sure you guys can see how dusty it is in here and that's actually very unusual the sawdust we use comes straight from the mill so the the sawdust is not from dry lumber it's got moisture in it however we put this down about two months ago and i'm sure it's dried out just from sitting in here so i'm going to take the hose off i'm going to spray it down a little bit just to get it to where it's not dusty in here because it's it's never like this other than this time You can see that it's much better now, not nearly as dusty. And as they continue to use it and pee on it and poop on it and everything else, that moisture will get absorbed and then the dust really won't be prevalent. But right now, just the top layer is wet, so as they walk around, it's eventually gonna start stirring up more dust. But like I said, as they urinate on it and, and poop on it and stuff, that'll help to control the dust. It's never been this dusty in here before. Uh, all last winter, it was never that dusty, so. It's a lesson learned. Don't put the sawdust down, you know, months ahead. That's uh, that was a poor decision on our part. We thought we were being prepared, and I mean we were, but it didn't really it ends up not being as helpful as we thought it would. I hope you all enjoyed the video. At least they're all moved in. So if you want to see more sheep content, make sure you subscribe because during the winter, this is pretty much all of our farm content right here. Um, not really much else going on other than taking care of these guys because it's lambing season and they are very important to our farm. So we wanna make sure they're good and taken care of. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed week. We'll see you next time. <music>